welcome back to Self Made. Our next team of entrepreneurs have a knack for turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. Here's something to think about the next time you go to buckle up. You've seen them in the stores and on the arms of beautiful women all across the country. But do you know the story behind the original seatbelt bag? Melanie had a passion for handbags and, and she collected vintage handbags and all kinds of handbags and she had a big collection and uh, I, was, um, I was restoring an old Buick, a 1950 Buick and they didn't come with seatbelts back then. So I was installing some seatbelts and I had uh, a lot of leftover material when I was done with the installation. And so I just, you know, Melanie came up with the idea of making her a handbag with the, with the seatbelt. And it just kind of started from there. It wasn't, we didn't really set out to, you know, start a, a company. We just made some for friends and, and it just kind of grew it from that. As Dana and Melanie Harvey started making bags for their friends, the innovative design began to turn heads. One of my friends actually worked at a uh, boutique up in Los Angeles and, and her uh, boss said, hey, I really like that bag. We should sell those here. So that was like our first account, and then from there we got other accounts and it just kind of grew. It turned out that the Harveys got a lot of miles out of that 1950 Buick. Not only was it inspiration for the bags, it also provided the capital. We actually would, uh, we sold the Buick. <laughs> Believe it or not, the, the, the first Buick that inspired the bag. We, we sold that and we got machines and then we just lived really uh, frugal, frugally and uh, put all the money back into the business and you know, it was just, we ate a lot of top ramen I guess you could say in the early days. From that very first bag to a current high demand brand name, Harvey's is pulling out all the stops to get a bag into the hands of every American woman. Well, we, we've got a really strong um, uh, plan to expand our retail um, business and so uh, this year we're planning on opening 18 new stores and we've already opened uh, two this year so we're on, we're on track with that and uh, next year we're planning on getting um, uh, expanding our retail stores into international. They're calling it the Harvey's Road Trip and the plan is to scout, build and staff each new Harvey's location all within just two weeks. They'd like a retail store in every major U.S. city by the end of the year. Ambitious, you say? Going into retail has definitely helped uh, because we can represent the brand the way that we want to. And uh, it's also offering, uh, you know, greater service to our customers that, that want our products. So we can be, you know, distributed better and more available to them. The pair also has a key strategy for keeping the manufacturing of the bags relevant and timely. We decided to you know, keep every, everything made in the U.S. because we'd always done it that way. And so we had uh, you know, a pretty good team. And uh, also I think it, it allows us to be more responsive to the market because we don't have long lead time. So if, uh, if a department still places an order and they need a two-week turnaround, we can, we can pretty much do it because we have the, you know, the um, ability to do that. And uh, I think also people do appreciate it. We can control the quality and they uh, appreciate that it's made in the U.S. It kind of differentiates us from other brands because you know, there's a lot of um, stuff that's sourced overseas now. Dana and his team value the importance of their employees. Not only does Harvey's provide a number of American jobs, they also provide opportunities for advancement. We had a really open policy. Um, if you liked doing something and you were good at it, we, we really opened the doors for people to move up. And so whenever we'd have opportunities for growth within the company, we always looked in, in the company first before we you know, look outside the company. And um, a lot of people really just you know, stepped up and, and we just provided the opportunities for people to grow. Harvey's lets their employees do what they do best so the company can continue to do what it does best. What makes us innovative is that we don't really, um, we don't really uh, change the styles to say, you know, it's, it's a pretty consistent design, much like, you know, a pair of 501 Levi's or Converse Chuck Taylor's. So um, we innovate with, with uh, new, new processes. We developed a process to do printing. Uh, on the seatbelts, um, and we also look for new ways of incorporating like the, the seatbelt material into new designs. And the key to their success is keeping the customer expectations on top of the bottom line. My advice to other entrepreneurs would, would be to look at what you can give instead of what you can get. And for us, like we're always looking on what we can give to the customers, and um, the money will follow. Love those bags. 
So if you thought being self-made entailed earning an MBA, law degree, or even a high school education, our next guest will prove otherwise. Stay with us.